In the last video, I showed you how to calculate your overexcavation. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to calculate your backfill quantity. And we're gonna add some, uh, a, a recompaction factor onto that backfill. I know in some areas of the country, like Texas, they call that moisture conditioning. So what you're looking at on my screen right now is a profile view through that pad that we just calculated the over excavation for, stage that into our strip surface. So we've got this number here, and now we need to get this backfilled back up to the subgrade surface, this blue line here. So to do that, we're going to hop into edit mode, and we're gonna take this over excavation surface we made, we're gonna click on this very outer line, select it, we're gonna right click and copy, or you could just do control C, and we're gonna take that into our design surface as a report region, okay? So we're gonna right click and paste it, or control V, whatever you prefer. And now you can see we've got this report region going all around our pad. And what that's gonna allow us to do is break up our volume report. So if we hop into a 3D view, we've got our over X versus our, versus our stripped. We're comfortable with that excavation number now. But in, instead, in this case, we're gonna continue on with the job going from subgrade to our over X surface. Okay, so what we're looking at on the screen now is all the site grading associated with the subgrade surface, of course, for this whole you know parking area and pond, and then all the backfill that needs to come in to this pad um, in order to fill it back up to subgrade. So we could run a volume report right from here, but we did not take into account yet our uh, compaction factor. Okay, so the geotech report on this job said we need to add about a 25% compaction factor. Okay, so let's go back to that same report region we just pasted in and let's double click on it and give it a name. Let's call it uh, backfill pad, real creative, and add that factor here. So 25%, we're going to add 1.25, hit OK, back to 3D view. And now let's run a volume report and see what that looks like. All right, so now we have this job broken up into the backfill section of the pad. So we've got about 2,300 cubic yards of fill we're gonna need for that pad. But once we add that 25% compaction, that turns into closer to 2,900 cubic yards of fill that we're gonna to need to backfill that pad. And then of course, the rest of the site grading um, on the job. So that results in about 300 yards of export. So we can hop into a profile view and examine that a little bit further. And we can see now that to go from our uh, over excavation surface, this orange surface, back up to our subgrade is what we're looking at in that uh, backfill quantity, okay? So I can leave all my surfaces on, or if I ever wanna just look at those two, I can toggle this off so that I can really just see, okay, let me see exactly what is included in that uh, quantity there. So that dirt obviously is usually more expensive. Sometimes you have to replace it with, you know, some sort of select fill. So you might need to know exactly how much of that you need, or you may need to just be able to check out all the different uh, excavation you have on the project and see if you have enough cut to cover all that fill. So in the next video, I'm gonna walk you through how to look at the volume report to check if you have enough dirt on site to cover a uh, backfill like this. So check out the next video for a quick explanation on the volume reports. Thanks so much.